Hello everyone. We will continue the topic about on Hana, and we are covering the various features or core concepts of SAP Hana. And in the last video, we started with the core concept that is table partitioning, and we covered yes, SAP Hana divides the column storage tables into sub tables or partitions so whenever we have the partitions whenever we have the sub table so it's very easy to manage small small parts and yes sap hana ensures that each and every partition has a different set of records and whenever we have the multiple host system this table partitioning plays a vital role because in that case, yes, we can assign the table data to different, different host itself. Yes. Now, after that, we covered, yes, what are the various strategies or what are the various techniques for the table partitioning? So we have three strategies. One is hash partitioning. Another is your round robin partitioning. And the third one is range partitioning. We will go into the detail of each and every type of partitioning. And then we will cover in which scenario we need to use which type of partition. So firstly, we'll start with hash partitioning. Suppose we'll go for simple example. A column storage table is there and a table has huge number of records and we are going for hash partitioning. It means the records of that table will be assigned to the various partitions based upon hash partitioning. So how it will work, how the records will be assigned to the various partitions on what basis the records will be assigned to the various partition. So in case of hash partitioning, records are assigned to the partition based upon hash algorithm applied on the specified column. So firstly, we will go for one one line and then we will take the example parallelly and we will understand. In hash partitioning, records will be assigned to the partition based upon hash algorithm applied to the specified column. Suppose I will go for the example. Suppose we have a table Z order. Table has three columns, order number, order date, payment mode. Currently, I am taking five records, but table has huge number of records. You just go for the scenario that table has huge number of records. Now, now how hash partitioning work? We define one or more column as partitioning column. Suppose in our current scenario, we define, we are defining order number as partitioning column. So in case of hash partitioning, it is mandatory that you need to define the column on the basis of that column only partitioning will occur. So we define order number as the partitioning column. Now system or we can say SAP HANA applies a hash function or we can say hash algorithm to the values of the specified column. So what are the values of the specified column? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So system will simply simply apply the hash function or hash algorithm and it will calculate the hash value. After applying the hash function, system will automatically calculate the hash value. There is no headache for us that what hash algorithm is, what hash value is, because that is system internal process. 
we, our headache, we just need to define the partitioning column. Once you define the partitioning column, system will automatically apply the hash function or hash algorithm and it will calculate the hash value. After calculating the hash value, on the basis of hash value, it will be assigned to the various partition. Suppose system calculated the hash value, system calculated the hash value, hash value, hash value, and hash value. Suppose total we have three partitions. Suppose we are saying that total will be three partition. So after calculating the hash value, system is saying these two records will go to first partition. Suppose this is our first partition. Suppose after calculating the hash value, system is saying these two records now go to second partition. Now after calculating the hash value, system is saying this one record will go to the third partition. So our target is just we need to define the partitioning column system will automatically apply the hash function or hash algorithm onto the column values. It will calculate the hash value and on the basis of that system will assign it to various partition. Now, many people will say, yes, what are the number of partitions? Yes, we need to decide the number of partition also. So system will calculate the hash value and whatever the partitions we defined, system will allocate the rows to those partitions. Anyways, that is not our headache. Uh, we need to do only two things. We need to define the partitioning column and number of partitions. System will automatically apply the hash function. It will calculate the hash value and it will be assigned to the various partition. This is how our hash partitioning works. Now, whenever topic will proceed, we will learn, yes, when to use hash partitioning. So currently we are covering the working of hash partitioning. Now we will move on to our next type of partitioning. That is round robin partitioning. Those who know round robin word, those who heard round robin word, if you remember those who are from computer science and IT in their operating system subject, they heard this word round robin scheduling. Round robin scheduling. Same thing is here. Yes. Now rather than scheduling, we have the word round robin partitioning. Firstly, why, why it is called as round robin partitioning? Round means circle, yes. It is called as round robin partitioning because the system rotates through all the partition. It means system will rotate, system will go to each and every partition and round robin scheduling is also this. If I will just give an overview of this round robin scheduling. In round robin scheduling, what we are doing? We are assigning a time frame to each and every work process and system will go to all those work process one by one. Suppose we assigned a time frame of two minutes to a work process. So system will go to first work process for two minutes. It will go to second work process for two minutes. It will go to third work process for two minutes. It will go to fourth work process for two minutes. The system will simply rotate all the work processes. Same thing is here. In case of round robin partitioning, system will rotate through all the partition and records are assigned to the partitions in a round robin manner. Suppose I will go for simple example. Suppose we have 5000 records. So sir, what system will do? It will go to first partition, assign 1000. Second partition, 1000. 
थर्ड पार्टीशन थाउजेंड फोर्थ पार्टीशन थाउजेंड फिफ्थ पार्टीशन थाउजेंड The system is simply assigning the records to the partitions in a round robin manner, and yes, it is rotating through all the partitions. And yes, how this round robin scheduling, sorry, how this round robin partitioning is different from hash partitioning. Here, in case of round robin partitioning. There is no need to specify any column because we are not doing the partitioning based upon column. System is simply assigning the records to the partition. System is simply rotating the records to the partitions. Yes. Now the question is in everyone mind. Whenever new records are coming, how system will assign to the partition? Whenever new records are coming. they are assigned to the partition on a rotation basis suppose five new records are coming it will be assigned to suppose we can say first partition then five new records are coming it will go to second partition third partition fourth partition fifth partition so on rotation basis it will assign the records new records to the various partitions so this is our round robin system is simply rotating through all the partitions yes and whenever new records are coming it's not the case that new records will be every time assigned to the one partition no on rotation basis yes system will assign the records to the various partitions now we will move on to our third partitioning range partitioning and word itself is saying range partitioning yes records are assigned to the partition using defined ranges using defined ranges suppose if i will go for simple example suppose in this particular table we have a column suppose company code suppose for this particular record suppose company code is 1000 for suppose this particular record company code is 1001 Suppose for this it is two thousand. For this it is two thousand one. Suppose for this it is two thousand. So in case of range partitioning, yes, records are assigned to the partition using defined ranges. Suppose we have defined a range that company code having value thousand to two thousand will belongs to one partition. It means. these three records will automatically go to the first partition company records having company code 2001 to 3000 belongs to second partition it means automatically these two records will go to what second partition so in case of this range partitioning records are assigned to the partition using the defined ranges we will define the range and again you can see here also yes we are defining the values for a column it means here also we need to specify the column in case of hash partitioning also we need to specify the column on what basis partitioning will be there in case of this range partitioning also we need to specify the range for a particular column but in round robin partitioning there is no need to specify the column because records will be assigned to the partitions on a rotation basis so if someone ask you out of all these types of partitioning in which type of partitioning which type of partitioning you need to define the column so the answer is hash partitioning and this range partitioning in round robin partitioning there is no need to specify the column now in the next video we will understand when or which scenario we need to use which type of partitioning and then we will cover the various advantages so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we covered how hash partitioning work how your round robin partitioning works how your range partitioning works suppose if you have a table and you are assigning the hash partitioning 
So in that case, what will happen during hash partitioning? You need to define two things. What is your hash partitioning column? What is your column? And what are the number of partition? Whenever you will define the column, system will automatically apply the hash algorithm onto the values. It will calculate the hash value and based upon that, it will be assigned to the various partition. So we need to define only two things. We need to specify the column on what basis partitioning will be there and we need to define the number of partition. Now, in case of round robin partitioning, there is no need to specify the column because records will be assigned to the various partitions, yes, in a rotational manner, yes. And if new records are coming, it is never the case that every time record will be assigned to one partition. No, it will be assigned on a rotation basis, yes. And in case of range partitioning, we need to define the range values for a particular column. Suppose just now we took the example, suppose company code this to this will be assigned to one partition. Company code this to this will be assigned to another partition. Now in the next video, we will simply understand when to use which type of partitioning and after that we will simply simply go for the advantages of the table partitioning. So as of now, we are just covering the concepts. Yes. When practical will start, then you will see, yes, in the system, yes, how we are defining partitioning. As of now, our target is to understand the concepts first. So that's it into this particular video. Thank you.